In this video, I'm going to introduce to you how to work with Gridbox in a responsive project. First, to add a Gridbox, in the Insert, or Home tab, click Container and select Gridbox. It will appear on the canvas like this. Like Flexbox, you can add content to a Gridbox by clicking this button, and select whatever types of objects you want. Once you select Flex or Grid Layout, the container snapping mode will be enabled by default. That is to say, when you move objects into a slide container layout, objects will automatically be snapped to that layout. For example, the grid box now becomes a child of a flex slide container, so you can adjust its width or height manually. However, you can still make objects excluded from a slide container layout by doing one of the following ways. Temporarily disable the snap behavior by holding down Alt, while moving objects. Turn off this mode by clicking the View tab, then choose Container Snapping. Select the Exclude from Container Layout checkbox in the General section of the Properties pane, or simply right-click the objects and select Exclude from Container Layout. Now you can easily move the grid box to where you want. To customize the grid box, let's navigate to the Size and Properties tab, in the Container Layout section. Here you can specify the number of columns, make space between objects horizontally, or vertically. In my example, I want these four images to be in a row. So, I'll change the number of columns to 4. You can also change its size by dragging the resizing handles and move the box to the position you want. And I continue to change the horizontal spacing to about 30. OK. Let's see in different viewport sizes. The images keep their ratios and are not distorted because the grid box height is auto, which means the height changes according to the width. You can adjust the number of columns or rows as you want. For example in this layout, I'll put these images in two columns and add vertical spacing. The advanced settings here allow you to further customize the proportion between column and row. Like this. But I don't need it in my example. I continue to resize and put it in the proper position. Let's see the result. That's how to work with Gridbox in Active Presenter 8. Thank you for watching.